Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Jennifer from Gen W Arts. In today's video, I'm going to review a couple of items that were sent to me last month by the lovely people at Arteza who asked me if I wanted to try and review a couple of their art supply items. So that is what I'm going to do today. So the first item, or actually items, since they sent me two of those, <laughs> are the Arteza 8.5 by 11 inches hardbound drawing books, which I will be using for all three projects in this video. Each book contains a hundred sheets of 130 grams of drawing paper, which have a fine tooth texture, ideal for dry media such as colored pencils and graphite pencils, charcoal and pens. For those who wonder, the cover are made from a durable hard fox leather. So the next item for our first project is a set of 12 expert drawing pencils, which as they state are of professional quality, with a wide range of hardness from 6B being the softest all the way to the 4H, which is the hardest in the set. The LEDs are brake resistant in a slick looking wooden casing. The design of the pencils are simple but very pleasing to the eye. The pencils come in a durable and functional small metal case. Great size to take along in a travel bag. On each casing the brand name and the lead hardness is printed in silver lettering, which stands out great to the black casing. The lead hardness is also showcased at the back end of each pencil. They have a hexagonal shape so they won't roll all over the place. So for the first project I decided to sketch out a couple of monkeys. A couple of months ago I visited the Apehul in Apeldoorn and ever since that visit I fell in love with primates. <laughs> so here I sketched a little portrait of a skull monkey or also known as a squirrel monkey. I started by sketching out the basic shapes with a H1 pencil which produces lighter lines which are easier to erase unless you use a very firm pressure. Then you probably dent the paper because the lead of the H pencils are quite hard. So you might want to be careful with that. For the details and shading I took a 2B pencil which have a much softer lead so you can create much darker strokes and gradients with it. The graphite from softer leads can be easily smudged or blend with a paper stump or even by your hand. So if you're worried about stains, then use a sheet of glassine paper to place underneath your hand. This way your drawing stays clean and your hand won't become silver. <laughs> And here comes the third monkey, which is another skull monkey, but this time a full body one. This time I decided to sketch out the basic figure with a bit softer pencil, the HB pencil, which is to me the perfect balance between a H and a B pencil. Not too hard and not too soft, yet still easily erasable when used with light pressure. I mixed in a bit of the B pencil for the shading. So ta-da! There's the first page of the sketchbook filled. <laughs> um, before I started recording, I did the first sketch while using a H2 pencil to sketch it out and later using a B pencil to add some shading. To the right, I swatched out all of the pencils that came with the set and found that even the harder H pencils were rich with graphite, which I did not expect from such a low-priced product. While doing these sketches, I got a very positive first impression of these pencils. As they promised, the LEDs did not break, even the Soft 6B did not. And they were really smooth in application, so overall a joy to sketch with. Moving on to the next item is a gorgeous set of 72 fine liner pens. The first thing that caught my attention straight away to this product was the packaging and presentation effort Arteza put into it. Personally, I've never seen any other manufacturers sell their fine liner pens in a good looking metal tin. Just by looking at it, you're eager to see what's inside. And it only gets better when you open it and find three delicious layers of colored goodness inside. 
this kind of stuff makes my excitement levels raise to the max. <laughs> It's so bad actually, I instantly want to break them out and start drawing. Each pen has a triangular shaped ergonomic barrel for a comfortable grip and prevents them from rolling off your workspace. The tips of the pens are encased in metal for durability. The ink is water-based yet smudge proof and odor and acid free, which dries fast after application. Each pen has a 0.4 mm thickness, so ideal for fine detail work, sketching and writing. And this set truly contains 72 individual colors, so no duplicates. Moving on to the second project, I was still in the primate zone, so I had to draw a very cute crowned lemur that I met at the zoo in Amersfoort this year. I sure did visit a lot of zoos this year, <laughs> so I had this idea to work in a sort of color gradient from dark to light and brighter colors. So I started out with a dark blue color to draw her face with as I wanted that to stand out the most. Just look at that happy little face. Goodness, I just love lemures. I could literally watch them go about their business all day long. After I did her cutesy face, I moved on to a more cerulean blue kind of color. I really have to guess, as there are no color labels on the pens or packaging, and drew her forehead and cheeks in that color. Then I used a apple green sort of color to draw the upper bit of her neck and her ear with, and the rest of her body with a lemon yellowish color. Then I decided it looked a bit boring as is, despite that she is so adorable, so I added some random colorful circles around her, using the same colors I used on the lemur lady, but then in reversed order, so from light to dark instead of from dark to light. This way the circles stand out enough and yet are still in harmony with the happy lemur. At first I wanted to create the circles in the stippling technique, but that would have taken too long, so I went for a sketchier approach in the end. Maybe not as pretty, but still pretty effective. To finish this fun little pen sketch I added some fur details to also try and enhance the color gradient effect a little bit more. Again, I had a very positive experience using these pens for the first time, given I don't normally do an entire piece in just fine liner pens, other than just creating outlines for watercolor and marker art. The application of the pens are very smooth, they glide over the paper and ink flows plentiful so they never feel dry while drawing. I swatched out all the colors and found none of the 72 were dried out. Only point of critique is that some colors are very similar, especially among the greens and some of the color caps don't correspond with the ink color. So before using them, it's a good idea to swatch them out, but overall I really enjoyed using these pens and will love to use them for line at work in the future. Moving on to the final product that came in this box, and of course I kept the best for last. Cause Oi, was I excited to find colored pencils among all the other goodies that they sent me. So here we have a set that contains 48 colored pencils, which Arteza claims to be artist quality. I saw they had a lower grade, probably a student grade set of 48 that comes in a tube, which are called premium instead of expert. The cores are soft wax based and break resistant. They also claim on their website that they are fade resistant, but not exactly to what extent. I just know that the 1 star rating is the highest light fastness rating and the 3 star is the lowest on their colored pencils. The pencils are also non-toxic and come in this neat metal case. Also, I'd like to point out that if you are not sure what light fastness method a manufacturer uses, because there are so many different ones, then just check 
what the ratings are on the white, black and earth tones such as burnt sienna, burnt umber, yellow ochre, etc. These are usually colors that were made with pure single pigments, so most of the time these have the highest light fastness rating. This tip works for any medium, not just color pencils. The barrels are round and have a nice glossy finish. The brand name, the color name and the light fastness rating are all printed on each pencil. Again, I really like the effort and presentation they put in this product. They came in a durable thin and the pencils look really nice too. Even when holding one, they don't feel as, as a cheap pencil. So let's put them to the test and see if they are actually of the quality that they promise. For the last project of this video, I started by sketching out my design with a H1 pencil from the set of 12 drawing pencils they provided me with. I decided to do a quick small fish study to test the pencils with. At the time I am editing this video, I am in the process of doing a larger piece with these colored pencils on a thicker hot pressed watercolor paper. So expect a more in depth video about these color pencils in the near future. After the sketch is done, I start off by blocking in the background with this gorgeous teal color. And right off the bat, love how soft and creamy the pencil applies over the paper. Also, to my pleasant surprise, the lead gave off a lot of pigment. Much more than I expected, because to be frank, I had no high expectations for a set which is quite cheap. It retails on their official site for about £14.49, so yeah, but this is one of those rare cases in which you shouldn't be fooled by the price, as these pencils exceeded my expectations, as you will notice at the end of the video. Gosh, I sound like a salesperson right about now. <laughs> oh, and just for transparency's sake, Artisa did not sponsor me for this video or anything. I only received the products to review, so I'm giving you my honest thoughts about the products. It's just that I can't find a lot to complain about so far, and the supplies just got me super excited. As I continued on, I found I can layer with ease and glaze to my heart's content, even on a thinner grade paper like this. I had no problems with wax bloom or the problem that the paper would get too oversaturated too quickly, so it wouldn't accept any new layers. Instead, I could just keep adding layers with a light to medium pressure. I only found it a bit harder to blend with the pencils on this paper. I could not use Sestit because when I tried it, it soaked the paper as it is not suitable for wet media. So I had to use a colorless blender marker in the end to get a nice blend. However, in my current project with these pencils on the higher and heavy weight paper, blending with just the pencils went a lot easier. So here lies the issue with the, this particular paper and not with the pencils themselves. I think it's due to that this paper is rather meant for sketching and not for museum quality artwork, per se. <laughs> um, nevertheless, I still enjoyed working with the colored pencils on this paper, even though it wouldn't be my paper of choice for my work style. The leads are quite soft and creamy, a bit comparable in feel to the Prismacolor Premier but a bit firmer and a lot better in quality in my opinion. During this drawing and the bigger one I'm working on right now, I had no lead breaks, not even during sharpening. When drawing, the leads hardly create crumbs on the paper, something I really, really, really disliked about the Prismacolors. And on higher end paper, they are quite well erasable. On this paper, not so much. However, they do wear down quite a bit, so they do need more sharpening than, let's say, a polychromos pencil. So far, the only points of critique I can come up with for these pencils are that I am missing some lighter pastel tones. Most colors in this set are mid-tones and dark tones. I would have loved a sky blue or powder blue color and a very light cream or peach color to be in this set. However, the white pencil is quite opaque, so that makes up for that loss a bit. 
Secondly, they are not available in open stock, which is a real shame, because I sure would like to restock mine if they get used up. But all in all, I'm really blown away at what these pencils can do for such a low price. I'd say these are the perfect color pencils for people who start out their color pencil journey, but don't want to invest a ton on the more expensive brands, because these pencils pretty much give you a good experience of how it feels to work with a high-end quality pencil, because they simply perform the way a solid colored pencil should perform. So we are at the end of the video. I'd like to thank the people at Arteza for allowing me to try out some of their products and the pleasant contact we had. Also my cat Ed like to thank Arteza for the wonderful box I'm not allowed to throw away anymore because he felt the need to make it his permanent bed. <laughs> and of course I want to thank all of you, my watchers and viewers, for watching this video. I hope it was enjoyable. Information about the prices and where to get these products are included in the video's description below. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on any of my future content. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Have a good one!